Hello, Chef here. Tossing together a cake today. Thought I'd share it with you. It's pretty cool. This is a 3D airplane cake. Yeah, you've never seen one. Not quite like this because uh, it's steel. You can stand on this. You're not going to break the pan. It's actually two cake pans put together and uh, they nest together too. Very cool. You can pick them up at the sponsor and uh, it's pretty cool if you put them together and make a 3D cake. A lot of people like this. Little kids, birthdays, uh, airplanes, people coming to visit, whatever. I like it. This is actually an angel food cake uh, that I've tossed together and I'm just folding it in the last step right here. Okay, and for this angel food cake we're going to put this in the pans. I've got a cookie sheet here, a piece of uh, recycled parchment. We're going to bake it in the oven just like this. Okay, yet another chef tip for you, no charge, check it out. Piece of plastic around my fingers like this, a little bit of salad oil in the pan. Uh, why? Oh, it's a hell of a lot healthier than margarine and uh, spreads easier than butter and it does exactly the same thing. Wow, a new tip for you. There you go. Uh, grease it really good. Coat that whole pan so that it cleans up easy and repeat and do the next one. Okay, both pans have been greased, ready to go. My oven is preheated. Got my angel food cake. I'm just going to divide it in these two pans evenly like this. Okay, looks like that's it. These go in the oven at uh, 375. We'll check them in about 30 minutes or so. And uh, when you're working with these air suspended batters like this, like uh, Angel Food Cake or other ones, it's a good idea not to beat the hell out of them. Don't bang them around. You can give it just a little shake like this. Yeah, good to go. These go ready to go right in the oven. Uh, here we go. The finished uh, airplane cakes. Pretty cool. Uh, I do like how they turned out. Very nice looking. They got to cool off and we'll assemble them later. Just want you to see how nice these are. Picture them stuck together, a little filling inside. Obviously, you got to trim it a little bit, but really nice. Hello, uh, back here with these with these uh, airplane cakes, I want to show you just how easy it is to remove them from the pan. So you just take one of these cakes and uh, use a small spatula like this and go right around the perimeter. Just kind of loosen it up a little bit. Make sure it's not sticking. And then uh, once you think it's good and loose, not sticking at all, you just give it a bang like this. comes right out yeah pretty cool pick up that pan at your sponsor I want to show you just how sharp I keep my knives so this knife here is a pretty nice Santoku and check it out got a very small orange here we're gonna cut the orange paper thin show you just how thin you can go if your knife is sharp if your knife's not sharp you're not going to achieve that right there that's one of the reasons the other reason is it's just safer when you have a very sharp knife it's just safer every cut is easier it's smoother it's more consistent and uh, well your fingers are important all the items are in stock at your sponsor and that sponsor is uh, right there. Have a great day.